You can love a dog, you can love a cat. No, no, well, something that you what would say. Or, or what is love? Now, let me go through yes. this. What, what do love? you think is in your life the most precious and big thing that you've had that, you, you, that you've loved the most? Could be a sport? I think your father, because I've all so many years with him. <laughs> well, I'd say so, yeah. Yeah, and he was a good man, you know? Yeah. And uh, from the beginning, I didn't trust him. He gave, I gave his ring away, he gave me a ring, gave me another one. But <laughs> I honestly believe she loves the power of money too. No, I don't. You do, Mum, I'm sorry. I do not. I'm sorry, that's how I, I say it. Uh -huh. How? You know, I tell you. You have to have the best car in the street straight away. I am not. You have to have the biggest bloody car in the street. Because I and Mum, that can be massive car, it's big American car. You have to have it. Yes, because I want you to know. I and you had to come to school. Everyone else, everyone else's car was a small car. Mum came in this huge Ford Galaxy thing, big V8. Not only will you know, like other people drive slow, Mum will come ripping up the road in this whopping big petrol guzzler. Yeah, the biggest cars, so everything the most flash. Nah, nah, it's my. That's what I like. Devil never die. I'm the devil. The devil never die. One day. I was, you know, in Bankstown Square. You know, we're getting up to a bit of mischief. <laughs> not, not, not bad, you know. And two of the brothers just walked walk right past. And, uh, you know, they'd seen us, and then she just started running. And, like, I went the, the other way. And they ran after you. for her. They ran after me, right? And you ran. And I ran, yep, yep, yep. They were much, much older. I would have been about 16. And one of them just grabs me. Took me to the wall and pulls out a knife. Yeah. And he goes. I to didn't me, know that. I didn't know that. Me, get, get out, so that's what I mean. Spin the beans now, huh? If you ever come near my sister again, I'll kill you. And you know what I said to him? I said to him, no worries. I said to him, no worries, because you know I got sisters too. And if that's how it feels about his sisters, fair enough. Hey! With my mom, when she found out that I was going out with this guy, guess what she did? She got up home, his mom, and full on blasts for her man on the phone. Like totally like like, oh my daughter is this, my daughter is that. If I ever see your son next to my daughter again, guess what? We're coming cops. Oh no, 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 I won't call the cops, I'll kill him myself. Seriously, man, I was so embarrassed. I was sitting in that living room, I was forced to sit there while they told us both off. Oh, seriously. <laughs> Think you guys are not going out, but you're still going out. No, they still know that we're going out, but then, yeah, I'm making them know that we are and that they can't stop me. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really like it. And then his mum was like, All right, so you heard everything we said. Are you going to stay away from her? Seriously, if they asked me that question first, I would say yes, because then if I say no, right there, I'll get the hiding. Right there, I'll get a smack across the head. But then he was so courageous in front of my parents, they were like, Evil? Like he said, no, I like her. If they asked me first, I would say yes, definitely, totally. But then I didn't want to make him look like the loser. Like, so like when my parents asked me, are you going to stay away from him? I'm like, no. And seriously, that was like a huge stand. And like, yeah, we've been, we've been going out for like a year and four months now. From the day the Queen came, when she was first crowned and her first visit to Australia. And um, we went up to, um, um, to see her coming across. She came across the bridge and she was in an open, open car. I can still get shivers from it. She just looked, I said to the paper, she just looked like an angel. And someone said, how do you think an angel looks like, you know? And I said, well, she just, she just did. And even Ken came up to see her that day, the Queen, when she first came to Australia, that time up in North Sydney. The day the Queen, and I, oh yes, I had to go. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. I'm, 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 not, I'm not one of this. But, I think the Queen's a great lady, but that's as far as it goes with me. <laughs> Actually, the Queen is speaking to me here, and you can't, um, oh, I've taken that photo out. There I am there, with another sign, and that's my sister. We all take signs, you know, oh, that's Jean. 
And the, the Queen's speaking to me there because you can't miss my arthritic... There! <laughs> you, you can't miss my arthritic fingers! Oh. But no, I... Um, before she was speaking to me there, when she went past, you know, she said to me once, I've seen you once or twice before. <laughs> yeah, she looked over to me and she said, I've seen you once or twice before. <laughs> this is what I do of a night time while Ken watches TV. I sort, of, I sort of try and stay away from as much contact with, you know, don't feel bad, but like with white people in general, I try, I try and have as minimal contact as I can. That's my guard that I put up against the world. So it's like, yeah, it's not a racist thing. It's just like, yeah, I don't want to go through racism, you know what I mean? That's why I work for an Aboriginal owned and run organisation. Don't have to put up no shit. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> we went through two days of stormy kind of sea. And the third day, we discovered that we didn't have enough bloody water. <laughs> and food. And fuel. It's actually, uh, it's not uh, the, the boat engine, you know, it's a, it's a, a tractor's engine, a kubota, a Yamaha, I don't know what, uh, I can't remember it, but it's uh, converted from a tractor's engine to become a boat. <laughs> so, <laughs> it, it, it's funny now, but it was not funny at that time. <laughs> I mean, almost the third day, we didn't see any Singapore, you know, or any sign of any kind of land. So I looked to the left, right at that moment, the wave. Raising the boat up, I could see lights everywhere, you know. Could you believe it? A whole city. Oh, my goodness. So beautiful, you know. So we had hope again. <laughs> <laughs>